Uh, this is Brian Brew, one and one equals moo, and we are doing another video. This game is Settlers 2. Uh, it's one of my all time favourite games. Been through some bad times in your life, and um, this game is a new beginning. Straight. It was a good way to get your way through it, so it's one of these sort of god sim games. So, hit the space bar, lets you see what type of building. So, you've got the small buildings, the medium buildings, and you've got the castle sized buildings. So, M gives us our map. So, where we want to get to is this gate. Once we've expanded to that gate, we have effectively completed the level. First level will be nice and easy. So, let's just start with building two woodcutters and the medium building. A sawmill. So we connect up the flags. That gets the oh, no. don't want that. Connect up the flags, and I guess the little guy's building. I'm going to delete that actually. Do all that. All about making sure your roots are efficient. So that's the basics for construction. So what we want to do is get our expansion up and running because it's not going to be a problem. We're not going to have to do any damage on the first level. In fact, if I remember right, I think actually it works out better to have multiple sawmills. So you can see already in the first couple of seconds, things are starting to get busy. Um, the anniversary edition, far superior um, than the original. A lot of different enhancements to the game. One of the biggest ones I thought was that you can have. A, well, what happens is when you build a barracks, obviously, a soldier comes out of your headquarters, he's into the barracks, and he then, because he is authoritative in that building, he expand. But you had to keep the soldiers in the buildings in the original, but with this one, you can then you can tell the soldiers to go back. So you can leave these buildings, you, they won't, you won't lose the land. Um, so that's one of the first major things I liked about this. The graphics have obviously been redone. It looks very pretty. And if you hold down your right mouse button, you can then drag around the world, look around and make yourself feel seasick or hair sick or whatever. You can also zoom in to a incredible amount of detail. Hello, guys! It is your god speaking. Hurry up and build the fucking sawmill. You there, what are you doing? So, the other cool thing, well, it's not a, a, a new feature, but if you press V, you can see, oh, fuck, I get out of the You see this little guy appears, press it again, and that gets everybody building like shit. you can do is you can send out a scout and he will basically expand the fog of war to like see is it worth expanding in that direction so there you go soldiers coming up well what you can also do is if you build a barracks in a castle sized area you can expand it what you would have to do in the previous game was block the building and recreate it so that's just straight into our barracks. We do not really want to do anything in this first level. All we want to do is expand. So you can just say here, evacuate soldier. Building evacuated and the wee guy comes out. So we've expanded again here. I'll just do the same again. As I said, this first um, level, we're not going to be doing anything advanced. Just cleaning up the land, getting rid of all the wood. What we can do here is use another resource, which is a quarry. He will of course get some stone. Now, we have mines here. What's in those mines? First thing we'll do is we want to expand. Make sure we're getting all of that mine area. So rather than build a mine, we can build a flag, connect it up, and then we can send out a geologist. The geologist will come out and he'll batter all these mines with his hammer and see what resources are in there. So 
So basically all we're going to do in this level is expand until we reach the goal which is the flag. Now that typically means a building's finished but we don't want a soldier in there so let's let that out. Another resource we could use is a fisherman's hut. Take that up. Only requires a bit of wood to build that and that will start getting some fish. So you see two sawmills are going, two woodcutters are in production. Get our quarry down there, clean up that stone while we're waiting for our barracks to get some stuff. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's great little hints. Your first instinct is just to go straight up, but if I remember right, you've got to follow the yellow brick road here. It's a bit of a long winding road. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll play through this level and I'll come back once we're at the point where we're about to capture the flag and then we'll start off with the next video. Alright, and we're just picking up from the last video so what we said we would do is we would play the video on a bit and we would expand until we reach the end of the map. So where we want to be is there, and you can see we're almost there. So let's proceed to just keep things going. And get to the end of the level. So, I've not, because this is the first level, I'm not developing my village very much. I'm not even going to bother building mines or anything. We'll cover that in some of the later videos. All we're doing here in this first video is learning about the different types of buildings that you can make and the fundamentals here really are, I suppose, woodcutters chopped in the trees. They get the logs, and the logs go to the sawmills. The sawmills then obviously create planks, which go back here, and you need the planks to build most buildings. The next thing you need is stone, which you get from the quarry here. So you find a stony area, you drop the quarry. Um, next thing after that, you've got to think about is food. Food comes in a few different forms. We have the fishery, and then you'll also see little rabbits and stuff floating about. So to sort them out, we've got the hunter. He will go and chop them up and feed them. Now why do we need food? We need food for the miners. But again, we'll go into these strategies in a bit more depth further in the game. What you'll see is this this level we're not up against any creature components, I don't think. No, it's just us on our own. The guys see it as the first level, so we'll just try and get to the end of it. See there's not a point in doing anything other than just keep building the barracks. Now the barracks is a military buildings which allow you to expire, expire, expand the territory. So the thing I like about the new version of this game is you can evacuate the buildings as well and the older games, the older versions of the game, sorry, when a soldier entered a building, um, he could not be evacuated, so you were committing a resource to see if can stop the coin supply, why do they need coins? Because like all military, they need money to be funded, upgrades and stuff, but there's various different ranks of soldiers you can have. Um, so the most basic ones are private and to general and you've got to think about what you want to do how aggressive your opponent's going to be in the game whether you need to start off with, where is it? Oh, almost there let's get on up get on up what I tend to do if I'm playing a skirmish on this game 
first thing I'll do is get my sawmill up and running, quarry, so you're getting the fundamentals in, and then you can get a fish and get some food, some sort of food coming in, and then you want to get a brewery up and running. Start getting a brewery. Anyway, the farm. I'm not going to go into too much detail anyway, so see, this is just the first level. I don't want to put these off it and you've just have a look at it. But the game, if you stick with it and watch me go through this, the game is immense fun. Can't take a bit of time though, so just make sure you've got plenty of time free to enjoy the game. I love the new soundtrack as well, it's very eerie. See one person be here to speed the build time up for these guys because they want to wait about all day long for them to build. One. Almost there, but another two expansions I think over there. Oops. Here, that's us getting alerts from the game. You can check here. So, multi value is established. Let's just cut off these coins and evacuate them. The next one's ready to build already. the game, I'm not going to be seeing that, you've probably seen a lot of that. See once you've built a building, you can then press this button here, which will allow you to upgrade it to the next building. The next one up from that is the guardhouse, and then it's the watchtower, and then it's the fortress. But, to do that, you need to start off with, you need to build the barracks on this, so it allows you to build that size of the building from everybody own, or otherwise just something won't allow it. Right, I think another expansion here and then the first level's done. As I say, this is just picking up the basics, how to expand, see what happens when you get far away from your headquarters, how things slow down, takes longer for them to get there, what I've done, as I built a storehouse here. So instead of going all the way back to the warehouse, they just dump stuff in there. And that's good, if we're miles away from the headquarters, you what you'll notice is when this um, sawmill gets up and running, we'll take the, the, the logs from here rather than from the headquarters. Come on, see, you can see already it's taking time for the, the supplies to get up here as they would come in now. Hey, I'm coming boss, I'm coming. Building as soon as that bit of wood's dropped. Two planks of wood are required to hold the barracks. Look at them go. One more. Hopefully, not. Hopefully, this one's enough. You'll see once that's built, soldier should come from there. Instead of all the way back there. Come on, Soji. And that's a far enough. It's not. Seriously. Mission oh, yeah. accomplished. So we go. 
While searching for more fertile land, our scouts stumbled on two mysterious portals with inscriptions in Coptic characters. How could we show weakness by returning home to our anxiously waiting people without having achieved anything at all? And so, we stepped through one of the portals and began a journey which would take us further away than we could ever have imagined. Okay, so that's the first level completed. Right, as you can see, number two is available now, so I will leave this video here. If you've enjoyed watching this remake of Settlers video, um, please drop me a comment, leave me a like, and if you'd like to see further videos on this particular topic and on the channel, subscribe, and I'll see all you guys on the next video. Bye.